Hello, and um, welcome to my new series, um, Football Manager 2012. Um, so yeah, as you may know, it's coming up to the Christmas holidays. And, well, it is the Christmas holidays now for some people. And it is for me, so as a sign off, well not really, but um, seeing as I'm not doing no school anymore, I'll just be doing um, kind of a let's play of Football Manager 2012. Right now it is the demo, because I, um, I'm getting the full version for Christmas, so um, yeah, I've got, I've started a career with Burnley, just check my mail. Um, I've played all the pre-season games, and I've just come out here. Oh yeah, Hartlepool. We couldn't even beat Hartlepool, but um, I'll explain that why. I'll explain why in a minute. But um, so yeah, this video I'm just gonna tell you, give, give you my plans of what I'm gonna do with this series. I'm gonna go over, obviously, um, the pre-season games show you maybe a couple of highlights depending if I can remember which ones are good enough and yeah that's about it and then for my next video um, I will be well from then on after that it will just be me recording one game for one video and then moving on so let's have a look at the fixtures here we got off to a good start but then injuries came in and we didn't do that good anymore so um, we played against the Burma Reserves at home, because it's Burma v Burma, 4-0. Uh, played against Hearts at home, 4-0. We were going pretty strong, had a good team. And then I decided to swap the keeper about a bit, just to test a new keeper. Put Lee Grant in there. Scored 4 again, but we conceded 1. It wasn't. It was a pretty scrappy goal, but it was alright. Um, considering it's Accrington Stanley, but we was away, so we didn't have the home advantage that game. Then we played Altrincham, which I think, yeah, blue, blue square bet, blue square, so conference really. We only got two goals against them because we missed out on Ross Wallace, he was injured, and Junior Stanislas, he was injured. Um, so we only got two against them, won that one. Then it was Lincoln. Um, what were you doing? Blue Square, Premier, so a bit better than uh, Altrincham. But yeah, we got three against them away. And then we went on to play Hartlepool, and we had. Zavon Hines and Haida Helgerson, I'll explain more about him later, they were both injured, so uh, couldn't play them, so we only managed to score two, and then in the second half the defence just went crap, and then we conceded two. But we was hit by a lot of injury, and we it, it was an alright result considering. But next game it switch, so as I said earlier, that'll be my next video. Just looking for when we're playing Leeds. Good old clash with Leeds. Where are they? Leeds are in the lead. Oh, there they are. Wow, did I miss them? Leeds. I must have missed them. Yeah, I must have. Oh well. Um, oh yeah, there they are. First game away. Damn it. First game against Leeds away. <coughs> um, towards the middle of the season. So yeah, um, now I'll go through the transfers with you. We, um, I'm probably going to bring in a couple more now that we've got a lot of players out on injury. I um, brought in so far Sol Campbell. He was free transfer. Yeah, he he didn't have um, 
Wow, his real name's Solzy, I didn't know that. Yeah, he didn't have a team because Newcastle, in every single game you play on this game, Newcastle will have released him. And then, we've just, what's that mean? Can't be registered. Oh. We just signed Jordi Gomez. His his um, agent approached me and said, "Do you want to buy him?" He, um, so because he was wanting us to buy him, he went down a bit in price. So I snapped him up. Um, I could I haven't registered him yet because you had to register your team and then I bought him. So fairly brassed off about that, but. Um, then there's Hyde Helgerson, another one where the um, agent came up to me. But he's been our star man so far until he got injured. But yeah, he played absolutely brilliant. His last five games, 7.2, but that's not really fair because he's been absolutely brilliant so far. If, if you have the money and you're a low league team, or lowish, um, then sign him. He's a great signing. Um, so yeah, that's it for transfers. And then Danny Ings is out on loan. Um, I wasn't really going to play him anyway. But so that's the transfers. Now look at that manager. Um. <laughs> um I'm trying to remember which got because Zavon Hines, oh he scored a cracker, I just can't remember which game it was in, I think it was in Hearts, one minute, oh it was absolute cracking goal, Zavon Hines, yeah, here we go, I'll just show you this goal, this was best goal of the season so far, oh I thought we were going to play it. There we go. I think. But yeah, best goal I've ever seen anyway. So far. I'm sure there'll be plenty more. There was a good contender from Ross Wallace, but turned out that that was actually quite lucky. It took a good deflection. Um, so yeah, this is really just going to be the series. Um, I hope it's a good team. I can't remember if Hearts are a good team. Well. That was weird. Um, oh, freaking hell. Don't, don't show it for too long now. Um, yeah, um, there's probably not going to be anyone watching this video. So, if you are the one and only person watching it, leave in the comments, is Hearts an actually good team? Try and show this again. Or is it much speed? Take it out of it. Um, touch line. This was a, one of the best goals I've seen on Football Manager so far. He just picked it up on the edge of the box and I'll let you see. It wasn't too good. I've seen better at IRL, but it was a good goal. So, just wait for it to lower. Being quite slow. Um, so yeah, um, Hearts, Hearts are a good, I don't know, there you go, um, Smith headed it out, Hans picked it up, and just curled it right in the top by a beautiful goal gave him a lot of praise for that but it was this was also the game where two of my players got injured two key players it's got to be said and then in the next game oh no the game after this um Zavon Hines got injured um so we're lacking in players right now we need I need to get some in but um yeah, uh, so yeah, that's really it. Um, next video, I'll be playing against Ipswich Town. And I'll be doing kind of commentary, kind of not. Uh, just showing my inbox. Um, 
Campbell Rye. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this. Might be bringing him in. Because uh, of... Junior Stanislaus is out. Uh, UK and I has got a report on Wozni. I don't know who the hell that is. Norwich Shine Wood. Richard Wood. Doesn't really bother me that. Um, <laughs> Player Watch. Well, this is me. I think. I had 2011, I think. It might have been 10. And I don't think this was in it. If it was, then I'm sorry. But I don't think it was. Continue the build up to the Empire Championship kickoff. Sportinglife.com takes a look at Hull in the latest Empire Championship player watch. Alright, it's just basically being a little spy for you. <laughs> so, yeah, that's really it. Next video against Ipswich uh, away. First game of the season away. Hopefully, make a good start. Um, get some more plays in and then. See you there. Cheers. Bye.